y'all, Shay here. Today we're gonna be doing a post review for a diamond painting that I did for an event in March that I hosted with Randy, you can call me Butter. And this is called Aquatic Mermaid. And you can see right here, some of the information, the thumbnail. She, Aquatic Mermaid, she's a 40 by 55 in centimeters and it is a round and it's by Jazz Higgins. So it is licensed artwork. It actually comes from Australia, directly from her studio, okay? I loved this painting, y'all. I don't know, now I, now I will tell you, I did enhance quite a bit of it. So uh, it does not come with any ABs. It did have 33 colors and I did add six ABs to enhance it, okay? But it looks exactly like the rendering. Let me go ahead and show you guys her website. Um, she does have some other diamond paintings. She's got a Halloween fairy, it's really cute. An angel, a rainbow fairy, a sugar school. She's got Frida, Snow White, there's Aquatic Mermaid, and then there's another fairy. So she does a lot of fairies and a lot of mermaids. Um, looks like there's a couple that are sold out. Alice in Wonderland and this other Halloween one. She has an advent calendar, two Christmas, um, or no, this one, just an advent calendar right here. Um, yeah, and she also has, I was going to tell you guys, she also has uh, coloring books. So for those of you that like to color, she has a Color Me In, which is, uh, it says it's for adults or kids, and that's $11. Or she has Magical Mermaids, or you can get a pack that comes with both. So she does have a coloring book. Uh, I love her. I'll link, of course, her website down below so y'all can go check her out. Um, let me let me just tell you a little bit more about the painting itself. Um, it was uh, again, it comes from Australia. It, it was thirty seven dollars for the kit. Most of her diamond paintings range in the thirty dollar range, so thirty dollars for the kit, and it was twenty four dollars for shipping. I know shipping's high, but it was a total of sixty one dollars, and that's about the average of what I spent on a diamond painting, 50 to, you know, 70, that can be about the average to, you know, it wasn't huge, didn't have AB. So there was a few things that I would have changed, but still the quality, the, my experience was very, very worth it. Um, Y'all be proud of me. I grabbed out my little uh, log book and I've been putting all my pictures in here of all my completed paintings and just writing down notes. So it makes these videos a lot easier. Um, let's see, Jazz Higgins, round, uh, 40 by 50, 33 colors, no ABs. All right, so I started this March 1st, because that's when the event started. It was the entire month of March, and I finished it March 23rd. So it being a 40 by 50, uh, great size. It had a great combination of color blocking, like right here. This was all the same color, this blue. And then, um, of course, you know, her face was pretty much the same color. And then it did have some, you know, confetti like within her tail and some of the fish and the flowers, but, um, and the squids right here. So let's go ahead and cover um, the enhancements that I made, okay? Let me go ahead and pull them out and we will cover the changes that were made. All right, so, and you can get ABs from all types of different companies. Um, I got these from diamondpaintingdrills.com. What I did was I have a box, and I know I talk about it all the time. I've got a round and a square, and I can link them down below, and it's just a variety of colors. And so I don't go, and I didn't order anything special for this painting. I just went and said, okay. I looked at the legend and said, okay, what numbers, because they give you a, a number chart of the ones that they give you. And I'm like, what numbers do I have in ABs? And so I just happen to have these um, in my box. So I'm like, okay, I'll use those. And if they work, they work, and they did. So let's go ahead and start with the yellow, this really pretty 307, okay? It's got the sparkly finish on it. So 307, let me bring this up a little bit closer so y'all can see the sparkle. See that yellow right there around the fish's eyes? That was all the yellow ABs I added. Uh, let's see, where else? Where else, where else? There's a lot of green over here. A um, little bit of yellow right here in the leaves of her hair. And then where else? Did I do, but mainly in the fish right here. And then in this fish, his mouth right here added some of the yellow. And I think that was it for the yellow. There wasn't a ton of that, that number because I can tell my bag's still pretty full. And then next was 550, which is purple. And you can tell there's not a lot missing from this bag either because these were pretty full. Um, 550, it was in her eyes, okay? She had a little bit of purple in her eyes. And you'll see that? It almost looks like a blue, but it is purple. So enhance that. 
And then I'm trying to think where else. Oh, in the uh, squid's eyes, they were also a little bit of purple. So just a little pop, wasn't too much. So the next one was uh, this Kelly Green. And that is 702. And again, just kind of little areas. Didn't, you know, not missing a lot out of this one either. And that was also in her eyes. Her eyes had a lot of colors, y'all. And what I did was, let's talk about her eyes while we're talking about the greens. I did go ahead and add quad cubes. Can y'all see those? A quad cube is, I have some white ones and some green ones. It's where you take four squares and put one big drill, okay? Now I got these from DP with sparklers and I'll put her down below. So I had one, two, three, four of the green ones and then one, two, three, four of the white ones. So I did the same thing over here. I only, yeah, I had three green and, wait, four green and four white. So yeah, that was my first time to ever use the quad cubes and I really do like them. But that green um, was, let's see, where I put that green? That was her eyes and then um, in the bubbles, kind of these bubbles that you see around. I had some of that green. So that was 702. And then 907, again, not a lot missing, just kind of highlighting those same little areas, you know, kind of the lime green where you saw green in here. The one that I used the most of was 995, okay? And this is actually a new bag. I had to order a whole nother bag from uh, DP with sparklers and they were the same color, so that worked out. But where I used 995 in the entire water, all through here, between her tail right here, all the, it pretty much starts from here down. That's all ABs. And I thought it turned out really good. Y'all, that sparkle, Woo! I almost did this outside because I had a post review one time where I did it outside and the spark, it just looked like I had a filter. It was like so fake, but look at the sparkle in that blue. So I'm really happy with the 995 that I changed out. So yes, I did all of that AB. And then the last one, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out, but I'm really happy with it. 3861, it's this brown color. And the brown was actually kind of fun. It was around the squid's eyes. See, there's some brown there. Around this squid's eyes, some in the bubbles. And she even had some in her eyes. So just a little, again, it wasn't in one certain area except for the water, which I really liked. So the colors that I had ended up working out really well for you know what I was doing, so I lucked out. Um, I also wanted to point out, I do have my washi tape, some of it's still on here. This is from Simply Gilded. And this was a gift from Sandra West, one of my friends here. And uh, yeah, I just outlined the edges because sometimes the glue goes over just a little bit. So plus it's just fun, you know, to decorate the outside. And then also you can use washi tape to section off your diamond painting with the clear uh, cover on top. So let's go ahead and talk about the trash. Hopefully it's not too hard to see because I know there's some shells in the bottom of this, but that was it for trash, y'all. Just this little bit right here, not bad. Yep, very, very minimal trash. By the way, I'll link this below. This is from um, AT Diamond Pen and they're on Etsy. It is a little trash tray and it's got a magnet on the back. So this comes from Angela Porch and it's resin. Okay, so she made this for us for the event. So I really enjoyed using that. So let me show you the leftover drills. Now, of course, we have to consider it, you know, consider it that, you know, consider it that we had a lot of those ABs, right? So, you know, it does not really fair for some of them. Now, the ones that had ABs were the ones with the black Sharpie, the little dot. So that was obviously 995. So I have all those left over because I didn't use them, right? Uh, but the ones that don't have, um, you know, a little bit of that one. I had plenty of all of them, y'all. Look, I did not run out of drills. Nope, did not run out. Didn't really get low on anything. I mean, I would say probably this green one's probably the lowest that I got. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it was getting there, but I wasn't worried at all. Really, really fun, bright colors. Um, I'm really happy with this painting, y'all. I just, it was such a, a really fun event and I'm thinking about um, hanging this, framing it and hanging it on my wall to commemorate, you know, Mermaids and Magic 2022, which by the way, um, we are gonna be doing it again next year. So go ahead and look for your mermaids or your magical paintings for next year. Uh, I'm not sure if, we do, if it'll be in March, hopefully it will be, um, it should. I think we'll just keep it the same month, but count on that for 2023. And uh, yeah, we'll have, you know, we're gonna add, do a couple things differently. We're gonna add a Facebook element along with the Instagram element and there'll be, um, you know, we'll make some changes to make it even better than it was this year. So what else y'all? 
what else? I just want to make sure that you can see her. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I've covered it all. She's just, I hope you can see the sparkle in her. And my mother-in-law was so sweet. She said to me, Shay, this reminds me of you. And I was like, oh, because I have the green eyes. My hair's not that blonde, but um, yes. And that was really, really sweet of her to say. But yes, I love the fish. There's flowers, these are peonies. Yeah, they're really, really pretty. Didn't really bling these out at all. I didn't have that color. But you know, I didn't really need to. You've got some ABs and the leaves and there was so much going on with the water. That's probably best that I didn't bling those out. And then just, you know, did the squid's eyes. The bubbles had a little bling to them. I really lucked out with the ABs that I had, you guys. I really, really did without, you know, planning it. Sometimes it just kind of works out that way, right? All right, so if y'all have any questions or comments or concerns, I'll try to list everything down below. Um, I'm gonna order from her again. I'm thinking one of the um, Halloween ones, but I love the big eye girls. Like I said, she's just, I love, the stickiness was great. The, uh, you know, I will attach the unboxing um, in the description of the video. So if y'all wanna go check out the unboxing, it goes into, you know, more in depth. But um, I mean, the skin tone, everything, just everything was awesome. I can't say anything negative, you know. Other than you just have to add your own ABs, eh, that's okay, you know? And you don't have to. It would be cute without ABs, you know? The, look how vibrant, you know, this blue still would have been, right? Not being an AB, it still would have been beautiful. So, you know, no complaints. The drills were great, no static. Yeah, so I don't really have anything negative to say. It was a great experience. Uh, definitely order from her again. So um, thank you all again for watching. And if you have not subscribed, there is a subscribe button down below. It's free. And if you click on that, it just tells you that uh, you like what I'm doing here. And if you do and you wanna see more, go ahead and click that bell. And that notification bell will just let you know whenever I post up any new videos. And on your way out, if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up, okay? It really does help. All right, y'all, until next time, I uh, love you. And take care and I'll see you then. Okay, bye guys.